My first name was Mahiran. It was given to me when I was about four years old because in our culture, your grandparents name you. A lot of the language too is descriptive, right? It's not just a hard word for one thing. And they name you after what they see in you, what kind of person you are. And my grandma, she called me Mahigan, which means wolf, coyote, but a literal translation means always on the go. A wolf and coyotes are always on the go. And that's what I was as a kid, always on the go. And I still am as an adult. You got to realize, man, most of the, the the native languages are in danger for sure. And nobody thinks about how long the native people have been on this continent. We've been here since this continent was born, you know. Uh, we grew out of this land, Turtle Island, which we know as Canada, USA. The theme is to make a song about the native languages across Turtle Island, you know. Language uh, to keep it alive, really. Preserving the languages, if you will. Preserving yep. endangered languages, whether you're Blackfeet, Blackfoot, Chippewa, Arapaho, Dene, Haudenosaunee, Mohawk. Uh, there's so many different tribes across Turtle Island. It's Oki Language Project. Gene Brave Rock, I've known him since we started in the film and television industry 30 years ago. What Gene is doing is what I feel like most of us should be looking towards as well, you know, as bring light to the language, his language, Blackfoot language. I think that's important, what Gene's doing. It's inspiring, you know, with Lily Gladstone as well, the Black Feet, not the Blackfoot. For me, listening to Lily give her speech made me feel great. A historic moment for all Natives as well, for her to be a winner in that huge of a category and amongst her peers. It's a historic moment for me to be that character on Killers of the Flower Moon. That was all to do with the afterlife, and they were trying to find some something that looked like a shaman or a medicine man or scopio how we say it it means creator's helper you're never above creator everybody's a scopio serving creator to be that character it was osage people i'm i'm nehiawa so i have to go there with an open mind and open heart to their to their ways right and pay my respects to them. And that's so I did. I laid some tobacco down for that. It was a whole process to give honor to a different tribe and to portray their people, you know. Even as English may have been the kind of the monkey wrench that took us all away from our languages, it also is the bridge that connected all of us in terms of language. It's a song that represents all, but at the same time, you know, just an open mind and open heart. Mm -hmm.